Welcome to Starbox Explained. If it's your first time here, please subscribe to this channel. You can watch other videos that you have made on different topics. Leave a comment on your thoughts or on some of these videos. And uh, for repeat viewers, we thank you for the support that you have shown uh, to us for the last two years. In this video, we'll be talking about Kenya, Kenya's plans to build a large multipurpose dam along Tana River. The planned dam is High Grand Force Multipurpose Dam, which is one of the Lapset Corridor. Lapset represents Lamu, a large project which is being constructed uh, in Kenya, Ethiopia, and uh, South Sudan, and this involves various infrastructure projects. So this uh, dam will be located 50 kilometers downstream of the Kambere Hydro Power Stations, which is along River Tana and it will be found in Kitui, Embu, and Tarakanithi County. The project's principal components will be a high ground force dam, there will be a hydro power plant with the ancillary installation, and uh, there will be a downstream area where there will be irrigation schemes, a pumping station, there will be a flood protection infrastructure and a rural domestic water supply. The water supply is projected to cater for approximately 15 million people, uh, solving the, the water shortage that is experienced in uh, counties along this area. Currently, the project detailed designs are completed. Commercial contract has been signed and built operate transfer proposals are being solicited from investors and also negotiations are going on financing and power purchase agreement. The new multipurpose dam will cost approximately 425 billion Kenya shillings uh, and a deal has been made between the Kenya and UK and uh, in the sidelines of COP27 which was held in Egypt in uh, 2022 the Kenya President William Ruto and the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak signed the deal. The building of the dam, which will be the Kenyan's second expensive infrastructure project after the Standard Gauge Railway, is part of the six projects worth 500 billion to be fast tracked and a, a new UK pact, which was signed in the sidelines of COP27. Initially, the dam was estimated to cost about 220 billion which is approximately two billion dollars the high grand force dam is will uh, be a, along Tana river and it will be a ppp project this plan i mean uh, the plan is to generate 1000 megawatts of hep uh, there will be provision of irrigation where 4000 hectares of farmland will be availed and uh, there is expected to be a powerful hydroelectric energy source uh, in this project. The project is being developed as part of a uh, lapset, which is Lamu Port, Lamu South, uh, South Sudan, Ethiopia Transport Corridor, and is expected to have a, a lake with a service area of uh, 165 square kilometers, which is equivalent to 41,000 acres. It hold uh, 5.6 cubic mean, uh, meters, which is in billions. Uh, the amount of water which will be held by this dam will be 5.6 billion cubic meters. An estimated 400 and, I mean 4,500 families from uh, three counties, Kitui, Tarakanithi, and Embu, are expected to be displaced by the new dam. In addition to provision of uh, electricity, the dam will provide water for irrigation and also expected to mitigate flooding and uh, which is experienced uh, in this region during the rainy season the idea to build this dam was conceived in 2009 during the presidency of Mwai Kibaki and the uh, tendering process uh, gave a British entity GBM engineering consortium which is based in London and uh, this firm was qualified to I mean was Quali was qualified to do this project. GBM beat other inter uh, six international construction firms. Five of them were from China. 
once initiated the construction uh, is expected to take last i mean uh, take 6 years in terms of ownership the consortium that is developing the dam and power station will design and fund as well as build and own and operate and finally transfer the project to the government and uh, that is after recovering the investment which is expected to last 20 years and then it will be commissioned in terms of construction timetable the dam and power station will be developed in phases the first phase will be generation capacity of electricity in terms of uh, 495 megawatts and this is expected to be completed by the year 2031 the second phase uh, with a capacity of uh, approximately 200 megawatts is expected to be completed in 2032 the project is envisaged to include a power purchase agreement for clean energy and water purchase agreement for agricultural irrigation so this this is a huge project by any standards to be the second largest project in kenya history after the sgr and is expected to provide uh, kenya with electricity and also create employment and also provide large uh, irrigation schemes that will help Kenya meet its uh, food demands. So thank you for watching this video. Give us a thought about this project and other videos that you have made. If you have come this far, thank you for your support. For repeat viewers, we thank you for the support that you have accorded this channel. If you are new here, uh, please subscribe to this channel.